Hello guys, this is Ian and in today's episode we're gonna try to fix this TV behind me. Um, main issue of this TV is if you notice if you look on the screen right here it actually has white dots on the screen and just to give you a background of the TV a friend of mine owns this um, he noticed the white dot started appearing on the screen itself um, it started a, a couple and all of a sudden there's more than usual so I figured you want to uh, I figured you want to go ahead and crack at it and see uh, what's the issue now just to clarify I'm not an electrician so uh, um, if you are planning to do this uh, do it as at your own caution um, I have opened a um, couple of uh, TVs um, in the past so I do have a slight uh, experience but again I am not an electrician uh, I don't fix TV um, as a profession but I do this as a hobby and also a learning uh, tools and also I figured hopefully this would help somebody else if they do have such issue uh, of the same that I have here now previously the issue that I have on other TVs are power supply, the main board, and the control board, which is normally what, uh, you know, TVs would normally have. But in that case, it's not this one, because if it's the power supply, it won't turn on. Um, if it's something else, it will definitely not bring this screen right here. And if you put some input, like a Roku or Apple TV or any video games, uh, console here this one works so I know the control board works because so that's where all the HDMI comes in so if you do have an issue with that then it's something else but with this one everything else works fine except for those dots on the screen so let me show you what I have here and uh, this is actually the LCD strips that you'd normally see in the LED TVs that we have. Um, more expensive TV would have more LED uh, on it, so it will show you a better image, uh, less shadowing. But for basic, uh, cheap TVs, normally they would have only a couple of strips. And the one we want to look at is here, which is actually, if you notice, this is the LED itself here. And this thing right here, what I have, is actually a diffuser that goes on top. And what it does, it diffuses the LED on the screen, so it will prevent it from showing those white dots. And if you notice, some of them are still intact right here. So what I was thinking is, since this LED is actually gets hot, um, that the adhesive might have dried off. And that might have caused the diffuser, diffuse, diffuser to fall out. And as I mentioned before, uh, the first few uh, time, the the first few days that they noticed, they only have a couple of white dots. But then later on, uh, there's more. And actually, when I transported it uh, and turned it on, there's more that's showing. So definitely, that's what I'm thinking. Now that's the plan A. The plan B is just in case that is not the case and there's really something wrong with the LED that's causing this. I do have or I have already ordered the replacement uh, LED strip that goes behind here. Now I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering why go, you know, the trouble of fixing this since the TV is much cheaper now. Yes, that's true. But I'm doing this. As a, as a learning uh, experience. So in the future, um, I'll know what's inside, what's the difference from the other TVs that I've opened. And as I mentioned before, hopefully this video will help somebody else um, that has the same issue. If they wanna save money, they could buy the parts. Uh, if they wanna, you know, go ahead and just buy a new one, that's another option also. Again, um, just want to clarify, I am not a uh, 
TV electrician. So I'm just making sure that you guys are aware that there is some high voltage uh, inside here. So you want to make sure that when you first um, open this, make sure you turn it off, unplug it, and take any you know safety precaution um, when you're dealing with any electronics. So let's go ahead and begin. So the first thing you need to do is turn it off and open the back and we'll start working on it, okay? All right, so let's start removing the legs here. You want to make sure that you put your TV on a soft flat surface right here. And there we go. We have removed the legs. Alright, so after removing all the screws, pretty much all the screws on the sides, are pretty much the same size uh, it's actually much smaller but the screw that goes in here and right by the power is actually much longer so that's the only two different uh, screws that you would have here so you don't really have to like organize them or separate them as much but just make a note that here screw here and the screw here are much longer so we went around and checked all the uh, screws and I believe we got all the screws. All we need to do now is lift it up and let's see what's underneath the hood here. So as I said before, most TV would have the same component. Um, compared to the one I opened before, this is the power board. Or the uh, power circuit board. This is the uh, main unit where it handles all the input of the HDMI and all the stuff. And this is your interface. This is where uh, all the LCDs, uh, LEDs, and goes in. So, as I said, if you have, if you don't have power, it will be this one. If you have problem for uh, Input not coming in most of the time will be this one. Uh, if you don't have, if you have issue with the LCD not showing up sometimes, will be this one. So in this case, since everything is working, input power wise and um, the screen, the um, what I'm thinking the issue will be the actual LED. So let's go ahead and start working on that, and I'll be right back with you guys. So after removing the board that covers this unit right here, I do see that these are the ribbon that supplies the power to the LED. So I don't think we need to remove this part right here. I think we just need to remove this part right here. All we need to do is just lift it up, pull this up, so that when we separate the screen from the frame, not gonna break so I believe secured by a tape no nope, no nope, it just stays like that so as soon as we take this off it should come off so let's figure out how to remove this screen right here okay let's see let's see let's see That's it. If you if you heard, uh, those are a bunch of the uh, believe the diffuser that just moved, and I think that is the issue. Uh, we just have to remove this right here, the frame, and we'll gain access to it. I believe we have to remove this right here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one holds. Yep. Yep. All right. So you do. So you do need to remove this screw right here, and I think we really need to remove. All right. So these are the speakers. 
what we could do is we could just remove it for now from here. These are just features. We can just go ahead and feed the feeder so nothing comes up or fall off while we're working on this. So here we go. Just put it right here on the side. And that should reveal more screw, yes? Alright. So anything that holds onto the frame you need to remove. You just have to make a note of which one is which. Again, this is much longer than the other one, than the one that came here. I believe this one also has to be removed. We will see. Or no. Okay. Yep, that holds onto the frame. So that connects, that connects, and we'll see if it comes off. This is tricky. Oh, here we go. And as uh, soon as we remove that part, there's actually a screw that holds the frame. So we would need to remove that also. Here we go. That's for the frame that goes around. So there's one on the bottom left. Let me see if there's anything showing here. And we do have bottom right. Remove it right here. Okay. And there's one right here. Uh, I noticed that there's actually arrows that's pointing to this screw. So that tells you that you have to remove that part. And I believe there's one more right here. Alright. And let's see if there's anything in the middle. Uh, nope. So, based on that, we should be able to remove the frame. Let's see. Ha. 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 There you go, guys. So, that's how you remove the uh, frame. Right here. Let's put that on the side. Okay. So we're getting closer to the actual LCD. Okay, let's see what we got. Definitely this particular part right here is not connected to the LCD. So we need to, I think we need to remove this bottom part right here also. Yep, so we need to remove this bottom part. So like any other electronics, when you're removing the screw, you want to make sure you make a note of where the screws are or where it goes. If you want to put it back to where you got it from, you know, like when you remove it, you put it back. So at least you'll know where it goes because you don't want to end up removing uh, anything and not being able to put all the screws and you're going to end up like extra screws and you can't figure it out where in the heck that screw came from so it should just pull up now there's a couple of uh, tapes here you just remove that tape I guess it's just an extra protection that they put in so it doesn't move uh, in assembling in assembling the the TV um, since it's being held by a screw I don't know why but I don't see oh okay all right so again there's arrows on the bottom and there's also screws on the bottom also so we have to remove that also there we go Power tools is definitely helpful to be moving. Putting it back, you might want to just ease on the power tools and just use a regular, you know, handheld screw driver because you might over tighten the screw and you might actually break the screw. So here we go. Let's see. It's coming off nicely. It's coming off. Oh, more screw here. I missed that part right here. So that one goes here. Else. 
Okay. So that removes the bottom part. Again, here. All right. So now we're getting there. And if you didn't, if you notice this board right here, this is where basically all the LCD connects. And again, we have a couple more tapes that holds the uh, circuit onto the TV itself. So you want to just uh, remove it. Here we go. That'll just come off nicely. There we go. Oop. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So that's a two part. And this one right here again. Uh, later on, you can put if you don't have this tape, you can always put uh, a electrical tape if you want to, but just to hold it. Uh, it's not really meant to hold the circuit itself. It just you know meant so it's not moving when they're putting the TV back. So here we go. You got the circuit board. There's again the strip that uh, all the LED strips connect. So, uh, let's figure out how we remove the frame from this thing right here. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, mm. uh, okay. I don't think we need to strip that part right here. I think we need to go on the actual frame itself. Or do we need to remove the tape? Well, the tape is inside, so yeah. Okay. So let's put all this screw right here. Let's see what we're working on. Let's try this way. Okay. Okay. Uh, there is. Oh, okay. So there is some screw around so we do have to remove all the screw around the panel again all right all right so we've removed all the screw that is around the vessel on the side and i do see that they use a lot of screws to, hit, to hold it in place. I guess I would explain because it's actually curved onto a flat panel that I've opened that only has only a couple screws. Definitely they have more than uh, what I've seen. So that's good. Uh, definitely kudos to Samsung. Make sure that it's everything is not gonna move. Unfortunately, I end up not using a power tools because the screws are much smaller than the bit that I have. So. Since we have everything out, we're gonna see if this is gonna let us open it and see what we have, and we'll have a big reveal on what it is, or what we have here. So let's see how it opens or how we pull this out. Um, I don't wanna break it, but I did notice that it kinda opened a little bit. Uh, I think I would have to flip it. What do you think, guys? Yeah, let's go ahead and flip it. Let's turn it this way. And we'll go. Yep, we'll go this way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We don't want to break that. We don't want to break that right here. All right, so we'll pull it up. Here we go. We're actually removing the frame that holds the OCD. Huh. Let's see. Seems like there's something holding there. Oh, nope. That's it. All right. And it should be easy to remember which one is the bottom part since there's the Samsung logo right here. Let's go ahead and again put it right here. So this all right, so now that we have this, uh, you just wanna make sure at this point to make sure you don't break the LCD. Since the LCD 
it is actually the most expensive and part of a TV and as soon as you, if you break it it's actually you might as well throw it away so here we would need to take this LCD up Whew, that is crazy all right I think I have the access on that side Let's see what we have here so we are going to And the ribbon, all right, and that should enable us to pull this up. I don't see any tape or anything of that sort holding it. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Anything? Hold it. Again, this is the actual LED screen. I want to break this right here. Okay. There's just a tape that is under holding it. And there you go. Alright, again, this is the most expensive part of the TV um, which is the LCD so you don't want to break this you want to make sure it's secured all right so now that we have secured the LCD oh, okay. we're gonna see what we have here and this is just a tape uh, I guess that would be an adhesive that they have here so that the LC doesn't, LCD doesn't move. Okay, let's just put it back. And this is, I uh, can't remember what this one is, but this is, as soon as we open this, that will reveal the LED. Um, let's see how we reload this right here. I think this is a two part comes off. Let's see. Yep. Ah, here we go. So it is a two part. You put this. You take the side off first. You take the side of the screen, which is right here. As I said, you could you could take your time at this point. So you would have to remove the side first, which is right. This one, okay, here we go. So you remove the side, both sides, and that would enable you to remove the top and the bottom. This is the actual part that holds the screen, the LED, and all the stuff on the TV. So that's making note of that. All right, so which one's the bottom? So we're only working on the bottom. Working on the bottom now. Uh, I could pull this up. Nope. Let's take this out here also on this side. Okay. Yeah, and it's a two part. Take this side out first. Alright, here we go. So as long as you take your time, you know, you don't want to rush. That's normally when you mess up because when you're rushing, that's when you tend to break anything so just take your time you know, you'll get there eventually okay. we can't slide it we really we need to remove and there you go so now that's the uh, 
actually that is the bottom part so which we can go and put it right here so I try to orient the part so where I take it out so when I put it back I'll know where stuff go hopefully and again this one So after uh, looking at it a couple of times, uh, you finally figure out what's the issue. Um, um, basically, what we need to do is we need to kind of uh, use a flat screwdriver and go underneath here. And there's actually a clip that locks here. So you just have to kind of like go in and pull it up and uh, you know, you want me to remove the strip without it breaking so here we go I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here all right so for the big reveal as I said most likely it's gonna be the diffuser and we're gonna see what we have so again this is I believe this is another diffuser and then after this we're gonna try not to bend. I'm just gonna put it up. And we're gonna remove this. And again, this is another type of diffuser that they have other than the LED. Because the LED by itself is really bright. If you know, if you've seen any, uh, a flashlight that has an LED they actually have um, they need, you need a diffuser for it not to be so bright and it needs to scatter the light and this one on top of the one that I showed you so here's the big reveal guys so we'll see if I was I'm right but as far as I could hear earlier that might be the case and there you go there you go Let's put it right here. And here are the uh, diffuser and and there's a lot of that fat, so these are the diffuser that came off so definitely there's a lot um, as I said this are the diffuser that is on top of the LED light itself and this one because goes on top of it so I have a choice of uh, just putting this back in here on each one or should I just replace it with the one that I have so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this one right here and these are just clips that holds the uh, how is this so even this one removing this one is difficult because this one breaks apart so this might be an issue putting it back if I remove it and replace the LCD um, so that is not good I don't know how many more um, I'll I'll end up breaking yeah that is not good I'm thinking should I just glue this or replace it hmm. all right so after removing mm -hmm. uh, this uh, clip right here which holds the LCD LED onto the board and also that separate the uh, the diffuser all right so after removing the uh, the screen itself 
uh, we have the LED right here and it's, if you notice uh, some of them actually came off as I remove it so my first plan would be to replace it but since this, this is shorter I don't know how it looks like inside we'll see if, if for whatever reason it connects that enables me to complete the whole roll if not the next step will be to just glue this part on those LED and have hope for the best so we'll see what we have here so we have one two three four five six seven eight and I believe I have more here so if that is eight I would have eight here also and that would be 16 and just in case you guys are wondering I got this from eBay unfortunately Amazon doesn't have it and I made sure that it's compatible so we'll see what we have one two three four five six seven eight all right so just looking at this screen let's see so this should be eight one two three four five six seven eight so actually I think it's actually a strip so hopefully there's a way to connect this screen right here to this part right here and all this LCD is connected via this board right here which is connected to the main board which is actually no it's actually I stand corrected this is actually the power board because this is where the power supply comes in so it's actually being supplied by directly connected to the board itself the power board so let's see what we have here all right so after looking at this pack right here since they're separated from here to here um and again this is one whole uh row of lcd and this is very short what i was thinking is they actually connect to each other and this bunch right here is actually different from here so if i open one of these let's see what we have here okay I, it's not sealed but we are. let's see what we have here i believe they just connect together And actually one of the TV that I fixed previously is the same configuration they don't uh, come in in one whole uh, row of LED it's actually separated like this and it actually works unfortunately I don't have any videos on that particular video on that particular TV so so yeah this part right here connects to this board since if you notice this one is the only one that has this part and this one only has this part right here so it does connect like so so we will try to connect them all right and let's go ahead and compare the link and if everything is good then it should be the same and the position of the light is actually the same so let me start working on putting everything together let me remove this first the original one and let's install the new one let me get everything Alright guys, so I just want to explain to you what the snag here, um, I was about to give up, I was about to break the whole thing up or order this part right here, but it, as I said, I didn't see any videos or watch any videos or read any, any, uh, anything articles on how to remove this. So I'm going crazy trying to remove this from here and basically from here there's actually a tab that you have to press down here and as soon as you press it down you hear a click. 
and then here if it doesn't click what you need to do is just bring it up a little bit bring it up like, like so so that you could press it down and that would enable you to remove it so I was going crazy and there you go unfortunately the bottom part uh, I end up breaking here but I should be good because it's the connection is ice uh, isolated anyway as long as it doesn't connect but that everything else is fine so we'll put everything together and as I mentioned before the one that I bought was actually two separated and looking at the original one I didn't realize that they actually is separated so they're actually the same thing that I bought so that's good so I'll put everything together and uh, we'll go from there Alright guys, we have installed the new LED. Uh, all we need to do now is put everything together and then we'll start it up and see if everything is good. So let's go ahead and do that now. Alright guys, so we're done. We are ready to test this TV. See if, uh, I don't know, a couple of hours of work actually was uh, productive. I believe that was uh, four hours or so. Um, Alright, so ever since I plugged the uh, installed a new LED. I haven't actually plugged it in and powered it up so we'll see uh, together if we have a success or not or if we wasted our time trying to fix this. It worked. No more dots on screen. Uh, that's a good thing. Nothing blew up. <laughs> so yeah, uh, definitely if you want to go ahead and uh, try to fix your TV, um, definitely if you have time, just take your time to uh, do it slowly so that you don't mess up anything. Um, if you like this video, um, go ahead and click on the like, subscribe, and if you have any comments regarding this video, go ahead and put it down below so that uh, next time I go and try to fix another TV, I'll know um, what to do, what not to do for a future uh, video. You guys have a nice day. Bye.